The children at Little Flower Catholic School had a very special guest at their student mass this morning. The first Mexican American bishop of the Catholic Church, San Antonio's own Patrick Flores, retired since 2004. Today was one of his rare public appearances. As you'll see, Jesse de Gaviado says the Archbishop Emeritus is still loved and revered. Even at 86, his faith sustains him, seated before the altar where Archbishop Emeritus Patrick Flores often performed Mass. In 1998, with the blessing of Pope John Paul II, it was then Archbishop Patrick Flores who dedicated the National Shrine of the Little Flower as a minor basilica. Many of its parishioners and visitors who hadn't seen him since he retired wondered how he's doing now. He's a wonderful, wonderful man. Wonderful. And he is adored by so many. So we get him out when we can, and he loves it. He enjoys it. He's doing okay. He's, he, things are more difficult, but he's okay. Vamos a atender misa. Wearing earphones to help his hearing, Flores is now only able to speak when he wants to. But he's taken in all the children going past him. He's put his hand out to greet them. He blessed a few people. He still is in ministry. Among the first to greet him, these students at Little Flower Catholic School. One even read up on the Archbishop. So I like kind of know him. So it was like an honor for me to shake his hand and just meet him. He says it was like being in heaven. I felt great. I felt blessed that I, got, I finally got to meet Archbishop, the Archbishop. Remigio and Martha Ayala have known him for years. Very spiritual and very uh, charismatic to the Hispanic people. Always defending people that could not defend themselves. Always generous, always giving. And they say, still very much a man of God. Jesse Degollado, KSAT 12 News.